Easy 24-7 Video Tutorial Series, Video 1, Getting Started. Download, install, and USPS PATH registration. Hello, my name is Emily. I will be showing you Easy 24-7 Download, Installation, and USPS PATH registration. You may have received an email or postcard invitation containing a promo code starting a 30-day free trial. If you are a broker and have not received an invitation from us, please call 888-411-6627. If your invitation was by email, click the link shown. If you received a postcard, go to www.ez24x7.com and click Step 1 shown prominently on the page. Once you are on this page, click Give It a Try. Once downloaded, run the MSI to install the EZ247 applet. From the Setup window, click Next. Click Install to begin the installation. Once installation is complete, click Finish. Once installed, you can click the Easy 24-7 icon found on your desktop. Click Yes, confirming that you are a new user. The No option is for secondary installations of existing users. There are a couple of USPS-required housekeeping steps that are seen the very first time you log in. USPS PATH Registration, Site Information Setup. You are now given the chance to enter the promo code for the 30-day free trial. Click Yes. If this was from an email, simply copy the promo code. And then paste it into the white promo code field. The PATH registration screen appears. The PATH is required by the USPS to conform to the Privacy Act of 1974. Movers providing change of address information to the post office expect their information to be protected. The PATH is the US Title 39 requirement granting you access to this information. A message box appears to the right of the question mark icon telling you exactly what is expected. Enter your address. It will certify automatically when complete. The NAICS code is the U.S. Census Department Industry Classification Code required by the USPS. If you need to look up your code, click the blue hint link and enter a keyword describing your business. Copy your NAICS code into the white field. Fill in your full name and title. Optional details are only required if they apply to your organization. Fill in the easy 24-7 login email. Be sure to input a valid email account. The USPS requires email account activation. If the email you provide does not allow us to send you the activation email, your account cannot be activated. When satisfied, click Save. The last required housekeeping item requires two fields set from Site Setup screen. Tabbing through the fields, you will see what is expected written to the right of the question mark icon. What we absolutely need are Entry Point Post Office, City, State, and Zip, IMV Mailer ID. USPS NCOA requires the entry point and the USPS Intelligent Mail Barcode requires the Mailer ID. If you do not have a Mailer ID, enter 99s for Mailer ID for now. As soon as you finish the video, this should register yourself as a new user, https gatewayuspscom Log in and look for Mailer ID. For more details, Google USPS Mailer ID or call 800-522-9085. The entry post office is where you take your mailings. Enter city, state, and zip. Mailer ID is part of the IMB barcode and identifies your organization as the mailer. Being private to us, we are entering nine nines. Presenting a mailing with a barcode built from a made-up mailer ID would be a grave error. Your mailer ID must be the one assigned by user https colon slash slash gateway.usps.com slash. After registry, you will receive an email which contains attached USPS path. Go to your email and open Easy 24-7 Path Delivery and Account Activation. Open the attached path and check for accuracy. Read the paragraph starting with I do hereby acknowledge. Read this short email and click Activate Account. You will see your account has been activated. Your account is now ready for use. Your free trial broker account has been established with 100,000 address credits. The Getting Started screen provides brokers with what they must know from the beginning. 
Once you are familiar with getting started, you can check the box so that it will not appear every time you log in. The F1 key provides tutorial help for the tab you are on. The Login Tab's Context Sanative Help tutorial covers menu bar items in detail. Help Broker Requirements describes in detail creating paths for your list owner customers and how to select their path before servicing their address list. You need to be completely familiar with the broker requirements specified by USPS Title 39 and described fully in this short help document. That concludes the getting started video of the Easy 24-7 tutorial series. The next video in the series is servicing a list, service tab, and file definition where we service our first list. Videos 3 and 4 pre-sort the list preparing all USPS forms and producing mail pieces. Video 5 is optional demonstrating powerful interactive address lookup. Your easy 24-7 support team is looking forward to continuing the series and providing ongoing support.